All right, kiddos, we are ready to make our craft. You are going to need your wood heart. You're gonna need your clothes pin. Choose several colors of paint. I have picked these three. You're gonna need glue. I have tacky glue. You can also use just Elmer's glue. You can use um, really any kind of glue. You need your jewels. You need your paint brushes and in your kit, the little magnet. So that is what you're going to need. Go ahead and get that set up. Notice I have a tablecloth down and I have an apron on. So once you've gathered everything for the craft, we will start the video again and get ready to paint. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is get my heart and I'm gonna paint it a solid color. So the color I'm gonna pick is white. And I am going to just brush that on. I'm using the bigger brush. There we go. Get the whole entire thing done. Now, once I have that heart done, I'm just gonna set it aside and I'm gonna grab the clothespin. I have white on my brush. I'm gonna go ahead because my colors all mix really well. I am just gonna stick that brush with the white already in it. I'm gonna paint the clothespin pink. Be careful because you don't wanna get it all over your hand, although you can go and wash it in the sink. So once you get the clothespin done, the heart done, you have them all covered with paint, you are going to pause the video and you are gonna go to the blow dryer. After you have blow dried both of those pieces, we're gonna come back and then we're gonna decorate our little heart. Okay, my heart is dry, my clothespin is dry. I'm gonna go ahead and use the glue, whatever glue you have. I'm gonna set the clothespin right here and I'm gonna pick up the magnet. I'm gonna put a dot of glue on the magnet and I am going to set it ooh, on the clothespin and then I'm gonna turn the clothespin upside down so that it lands like that. I wanna glue that magnet and let it sit for a little bit. So I'm gonna set it over to the side, let that begin to dry. I'm not quite done with the glue, but I am gonna put the lid back on. All right, now I'm back to painting on the heart. And what I have now is my smaller brush and I'm just gonna paint the heart any way I want. I'm gonna start with pink. I'm actually gonna do some lines. So let's see, there's a stripe. I'm going diagonally. Put another stripe on there. I put another stripe on there. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, I could make it striped or I could make it plaid. I'm gonna make it like checkerboard plaid. So I'm gonna go across this way now. That's cute. There we go. Now, done with that part, with that color, I've got my rinse water. I'm rinsing my brush and I'm ready to do red now. So now I'm gonna stick my brush in the paint and I'm gonna make my plaid like this. So you can do polka dots, you can do stripes, you can do what I did and did like do like a plaid. To do the plaid, you just need to make your lines go in two different directions. So I go ahead and do that. And I think I'm gonna add another red line right here on the edge. So that's pretty cute. I like the way that looks. Now it's time to blow dry. So while I'm blow drying, my brush goes in my water. I'm gonna take this over to the blow dryer. My clothespin with the magnet on it is already drying. We will be right back. We're just gonna add some jewels and then we're gonna glue the rest of it together and it'll be done. All right, we are gonna finish our craft by taking the heart. Make sure the point of the heart is towards the end that opens, not the end that you pinch on your clothespin. I'm gonna get glue again, and I'm gonna lay the glue in a strip right across the top of my clothespin, lid back on, and I'm gonna lay that heart right like that. Now, once you're all the way done and you stick this on your fridge, the clip itself can hit, hold like a Valentine's Day card that you made. It can hold a photo on your fridge. It can hold something that you colored or drew at school. So it's a fun little clip to have. Now, if you want to, you can also give it away. You can always give away your projects. Grandparents, especially like things that their grandkids have made. So do like moms and dads or big sisters or teachers. Now I am just putting little dots of glue all the way around the outside 
Now, if you're watching with like a mom or dad or other grown up, I do love this Turbo Tacky Glue. It dries really fast and it's super sticky and you can buy that at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. Now, I kind of dump my jewels out. I'm not gonna, I may, I don't think I'm really gonna make any kind of pattern with my jewels. I'm just gonna put them in the little glue dots and I'm gonna have those setting way around the outside like so. So go ahead and get your jewels and figure out where you want to put them or if you don't want any at all. It's fine not to do jewels. Other ideas, you have a sponge. So when you're painting it, you could um, use your sponge and add some polka dots on top. There's lots of different things that you can do. But there is your cute little heart clothespin magnet to go on your fridge to hold pictures, artworks, or whatever you like. I hope you had fun making our January craft.